Okay, we've made the uh, trip over to the independent test facility and uh, have now installed in to the test machine a piece of tie-down webbing. It's the same tie-down webbing that you saw earlier on in the teaching session where we looked at the cross-section and I'll give you a little close-up here on the damage and you can see that it's the same exact strap and we've got this in a uh, hydraulic test machine and uh, unfortunately, unfortunately I can't uh, pan both the uh, gauge and the sling at the same time so I'm going to stay focused on the sling and have the uh, test technician call out the values of test as we approach uh, break and I'll try and focus in on the uh, areas of degradation I have no idea which end is going to go first we've deliberately abraded both the top and the bottom side of the tie down webbing and gentlemen if you're ready so are we so we can go ahead and turn the uh, hydraulics on you'll call out the values I'll go ahead and parrot what you call out and then of course all the uh, Test will be certified by the uh, independent facility. It takes a little while to get it going, and uh, as you can see, the uh, ram will start drawing in air powered hydraulic unit. 1, We're at 1,000 pounds. One thousand, and it looks like we're going. What do we get to, Frank? 1,900 pounds. About 1,900 pounds. We can go ahead and stop the hydraulics. That went awful quick. And you can see that we had a total separation. And uh, surprisingly enough, the end that uh, I didn't think was going to go went first. We'll go ahead and stop now. Reposition for the uh, sling webbing and uh, see what kind of a test value we obtain with the sling webbing that has been degraded to a far greater degree than the uh, piece of tie down webbing. We've uh, reinserted the uh, equivalently strong sling into the test machine. I was a little bit surprised by the uh, almost instantaneous break on the tie down. The tie down had an unsewn tensile strength of uh, 15,000 pounds. It began to separate um, at 1,000 pounds and at 1,900 uh, as best we can guess because it's difficult to get an accurate reading when, uh, when we've got that quick a movement at that low end range of value. Uh, at best as we can approximate between 1,000 and 1,900 pounds, we did uh, obtain separation. Keep in mind now that we're taking a piece of sling webbing, which is exactly as strong, 15,000 pound certified tensile strength, that has been degraded uh, even to a greater, greater degree than the uh, tie down webbing was, and we're going to now go ahead and pull it to destruction. For those of you that saw our first test, you'll notice that we have secured the pins down. Uh, we continually process the information we receive from you, our viewers, and uh, use that to affect uh, change in our lives to it enhance the uh, longevity of our life and we you'll probably notice have used uh, tie down webbing to secure those uh, load pins uh, into the clevises to prevent them from flying at us at 60 to 70 miles an hour this is an appropriate use for tie down webbing in our professional corporate opinion we'll go ahead and uh, begin the test and I'm going to go ahead and focus on the damage uh, that like I said is very severe much more severe than was on the tie down webbing and we'll give you some close ups of these uh, in the office when we get back. We could uh, call the test values out in 1,000 pound increments and I'll go ahead and parrot them as we go. 1,000. 1,000. 2,000, really starting to stretch. 3,000. 3,000. 4,000. 4,000. 5,000. 5,000. 
piece of sling webbing that was equivalently strong as that tie-down webbing. This is directly a result of the uh, weave pattern, the stuffer weave design that is employed in the sling webbing that is not employed in the tie-down webbing. We're going to go ahead and reposition now for the additional tests that we're going to perform on the larger uh, test machine. <laughs> 